Hi everybody, Laura here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to share with you the latest Stamptember exclusive set designed by Studio Katia called Fresh Bunch. And it's got a fresh little bunch image on it. I wouldn't say little, it's large. It's like fruit and flowers. It's like a bouquet. I guess it's a bunch. Yeah, I was going to say swag. Anyway, I stamped the image with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink onto a panel of Nina Solar White cardstock. And I am gonna color this in with my Copic markers, as you can see. Now I sped this up super fast because it took me a long time to color it. And I color slow, but there are so many different ways you could color this. I know all the coloring lovers are gonna have a heyday with this image. They're gonna be the no line watercolor, the no line color pencil, the zig clean color magic. I pulled out the Copics because to me that's the safest route, but it does take me a while. So I like to sit down, uh, put on a little music and just enjoy myself. Now I tried to go with some fallish colors. I'm not sure if I did, but I did, obviously I did a bright red apple, which could also be a green apple, but I went with red. And then I've got some orange and deep plum. I've kind of got a yellowy brown flower going on here. I'm not sure where I was going with that. Maybe it's like a marigold. I don't even know what types of flowers these are. I'm not a botanist or a florist, but I just try to pick some colors that go together. You can see my marker caps there. If you want to know exactly what colors I use, generally I do two to three. Sometimes I do four shades. I color the image first with the lightest color. Then I go in with the darkest and work my way back up to the lightest. Trying to get a seamless blend. Uh, I don't always get a seamless blend, but you know, fake it till you make it. Now these, I assumed were berries. I'm just guessing here, spitballing. And then I think those other things are pine cones. I've been known to get this stuff very wrong. But the good thing is you're not going to get fired. You're not going to get arrested. You just go with whatever's in your gut and you have fun. You know, and then when I first started coloring Copics, I used to worry about, oh, the light source. Where's it coming? Top right, top left. I don't know. Stressing out. But Kathy Rakusen gave me some great advice right at the beginning. She said, you know what, Laura? Just have fun and don't worry about all that. Don't worry about all that. Just have fun. And it just like set me free. So now I do, I try to do some shading, but I don't stress out about the light source. You know what I'm saying? I just go with it and have fun. So I fussy cut this floral bunch out like so. Now for the background, going to do a little ink blending to set the stage. So I pulled out some Distress Oxides in light colors, colors I was pulling from colors that were in the, uh, in the floral fruit bunch. So I did a little candied apple, distress oxide. Now I'm doing a little um, spice marmalade. And you can see how I'm getting some pretty decent splotches going on there with my orange. And that is because I was pressing too hard. I find splotches come when you're too heavy handed and you're rushing and you're pressing too hard. You gotta have a light hand. Now I put, went in with a little bit of aged mahogany and darkened up that bottom left corner, fading it in with the candied apple, again, blending it out with spice marmalade, and then that last yellow color is squeezed lemonade. And I say it every time, you're probably getting sick of it, but I mean, these inks blend like butter. And then I went full throttle on the flicks, okay? Like lots of flicks. I took a watercolor brush, Sometimes I feel like I get better flicks with the brush than I do with that nozzle hose. So not just one time did I flick, I went a second time with the flicks of water and it really gives you a great look. And then I smushed a little bit of the same oxides that I use. So I did the aged mahogany flicking on some of that. And then I did the candied apple, a little bit of candied apple flicks. Yeah, like I said, I went full throttle on the flicks. Yeah, you know, like go hard or go home is the motto for this flicking. 
So uh, then I pulled out, as if that wasn't enough, a little white ink. Flicking on some flicks of white ink. So going to set that panel aside and step away from the flicking session, from the flicking sesh. And what I had to do was clean off my workstation. I had white flicks everywhere. When I say everywhere, I even noticed they were on my camera. They were, they were on my cutting board. I mean, gee, many Christmas. So I went ahead and embossed the sentiment also from the Fresh Bunch stamp set. I'm taking one of these stitched rectangle dies and die cutting this flicked panel. I'm going to adhere this flat onto a card base, a Nina Solar White card base. A lot of times I pop up my panels, but you know what? I'm going to start every now and again. I'm going to just adhere my panels flat onto a card base because I like to live on the edge like that. I like to spice it up. And then I did pop up my uh, floral bunch and my sentiment adhering a few sparkling clear sequins here and there to finish it off and this card is finished it's very festive don't you think hey i'm thankful for you make sure and check out this stamp timber exclusive by studio katia in the simon's stamp shop thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful day and i will see you next time